Sega. Hello and welcome to the Last Roman Campaign Pack Unit Spotlight. In this Unit Spotlight, we're going to take a look at some of the new units that come with the Last Roman Campaign Pack. The Last Roman Campaign Pack is an epic expansion for Total War Attila, featuring 5 playable factions with over 40 completely new units. Set on a new, highly detailed campaign map of the Mediterranean Theatre, the Western Roman Empire has been wiped from the face of the earth. In its place are the newly established barbarian kingdoms of the Franks, Visigoths, Ostrogoths and the Vandals. After the humiliating defeat of the Western Romans at Ravenna, the Ostrogoths settled in Italy and its surrounding territories, establishing the Ostrogothic Kingdom. One of the most formidable units the Ostrogothic Kingdom can field are the Domestici. Originally, the Romans gave the title Domestici in a ceremony that involved wearing the Emperor's priceless purple robes. To be a Domestici was a prestigious position and the path to further accolades. From here it was possible to eventually lead your own military regiment. Because of this, the Domestici are made up of the most seasoned troops which were chosen to join the King's personal guard. The Domestici are tier 3 very heavy spear infantry with excellent attack against cavalry and excellent armour. They have the expert charge defence trait which boosts melee attack and defence when being charged by enemies. This, combined with their shield wall ability, allows the unit to close ranks and become an almost impenetrable force perfect for protecting their king in the midst of battle. The Vandals were a confederation of Germanic tribes who went on to successfully migrate down throughout Europe and into Africa, forming the Vandalic Kingdom in 439 AD. They then became the second of the Germanic tribes to sack Rome in 455 AD, bringing the city to its knees. So brutal was the devastation in Rome, the term vandalism was coined in the 18th century to describe deliberate damage to public or private property. After the sacking of Rome, the Vandals attempted an invasion of the Eastern Roman Empire, repelled by the Maniots, resulting in their expulsion from Greece. Eventually, the Romans gave up trying to destroy them, and the two coexisted uneasily until the Western Empire's collapse around 476 AD. A key pillar of the Vandalic Kingdom's army are the Noble Vandal Cavalry. Unlocked in the military tech tree under heavy cavalry tactics, the Noble Vandal Cavalry are tier 2, very heavy melee cavalry. They have very high health, excellent attack against cavalry, and excellent armour. They also have the Steady ability, which gives an increase to defence and morale for prolonged combat in one area. Flavius Belisarius, hero of the Battle of Dara and ruthless suppressor of the Nika riots, leads the newfound Roman expedition under authority of Emperor Justinian to reclaim Rome's past glory. At its disposal is an all-new roster of Roman units. On the outskirts and in the more affluent rural countryside, wealthy landowners maintain peace through specially hired private soldiers known as Bucillarii. Bucillarii translates as dry biscuit eater because of the rations they are provided. Private funding meant that they were generally better equipped and skilled than regular troops, and the added incentive of private payment also kept them performing at their best. Belisarius employed up to 7,000 Bucillarii during his conquests, though by this time the term had come to mean, more broadly, well-equipped cavalrymen. The Bucillarii are Tier 3 medium shock cavalry. They have an excellent charge bonus, have a missile weapon, and a poor missile block chance. These disciplined troops can fire two shots with their bows into the backs of the enemy before delivering a devastating charge. The Antisignani were elite Roman legionaries who were also proficient in fighting out of formation, skirmishing and harrying the enemy in an unconventional way, specialists in unconventional battlefield roles. Armoured as other legionaries, armed with javelins and a gladius, Antisignani were able to screen the advancing columns of infantry and perform counter-skirmish manoeuvres. Yet they were also resolute and stalwart when placed in a forward battle line. Belisarius' rival general, Narses, used Antisignani at the Battle of Volturnus in 554 AD, where they held the centre, dressed head to toe in chainmail, leading to a resounding victory for the Romans. They are tier 3 very heavy melee infantry, 
with excellent armor but poor armor piercing damage. Not quite allies in the traditional sense, but not strictly part of the Empire either, Federati were tribal groups living just outside the borders of Roman territory who were bound by treaty to provide military support. In return, they received subsidies from the Romans, usually food. At varying times, the Goths, Vandals, Franks, Alani and even the Huns fought for Rome as Federati. The Federati horse archers under Belisarius are tier 2 light bow cavalry. They have an excellent rate of fire, high ammunition and good range. The Federati horse archers have an array of traits and abilities at their disposal, giving them a very dynamic role on the battlefield. The rapid advance and precision shot abilities can allow them to chase down rival cavalry and deliver a piercing blow. The scare trait means they'll also lower enemy morale, and being more resistant to fatigue means they can get away even after a hard fight, all while firing at the enemy thanks to their Parthian shot. We hope you've enjoyed this spotlight video, subscribe for all the latest exclusive Total War videos.